this is a work on loan from the Vancouver Art Gallery, so they've just told me of any kind of like um, inconsistencies or like condition issues there might be in here. I check it over, make sure it's the same as it was when it left there. I see there's one little dot that they didn't mention. And then I just make notes. And if there's anything significant, I would contact them. <laughs> but there's not, it looks really great. Uh, so I was thinking with these three, that bringing two closer together to create kind of a diptych and then potentially to have her portrait standing further alone yeah, right. um, as a lead into that room. But then once mm -hmm. you look at those and you come and view from here, then there's that similar symmetry of two and one. Right. And I'm really liking this layout here, mm -hmm. the density of the shop and the, mm -hmm. even the church decoration mm -hmm. in, the, in the altar. Yeah. Um, the general store, all those wacky things. Yeah, so I think we're in good shape until the rest of the work gets framed, mm -hmm. gets brought in. So for this particular show, uh, a lot of the works were already framed, uh, especially for this set. They came in silver frames. So we are changing the sizes a little bit and we're switching them out to black frames. So they will match the rest of the existing works that we have in our collection and the rest of the works in the show. I love this collection of works. I think it's, I'm lucky that I get to kind of have a, an up close and personal preview with all of the works, especially this one. that's installed, then we're going to come around and do the step up over here, okay? So you don't think this is too close to the door? Yeah, well, that's kind of my initial reaction. I walked yeah. in, I thought, oh, wow, it's, it's right there. Um, but I'm still happy with the decision to not have the panel right there, since yeah. we'll have another text just slightly off to the side. It feels really welcoming, though, mm -hmm. I think, having Laura sitting there with her coffee. <laughs> It's such a strong image. I think it'll set the tone quickly for viewers when they walk in as to um, maybe the caliber of Thelma Pepper's photography skills, first of all. But I think also like even the composition and it's clearly art and not just documentary photography. And I think like, that will be a nice entryway. Yeah. Um, um, Fish Creek, that looks great. Oh, that looks really good. Yeah. Looking back now, two years ago when we were deciding our lead image and how we want Thelma to be represented, it's really cool to see this work in the space up and how it holds the wall and how it occupies. I think having the core of the collection being at Ramey Modern and the university gave us a lot of confidence to just like, we know we have a show, mm -hmm. but what do we actually want to say about Thelma Pepper? What's important to us about Thelma Pepper? Yeah, and I think we always inherently knew that, but then to bring that forward and continue to really sort of always go back to that primary curatorial conception. Yeah. And of course, it, with the title Ordinary Women, it was always to look at women specifically within her work. 